Robert Ben Grant was born in Dunedin on the 27th of June 1951. That was a day. At the time, his parents, Betty and Bob, and his three-year-old sister, April, lived at Cape Saunders in Otago. It was a wild, wonderful place. He would wander down the big hill from school at six o'clock at night, grinning from ear to ear. His mum and April frantic at where he'd been. He was always a cheeky, free spirit and wanderer. At the Sunday school break-up, a huge plate of meringues and cream landed in front of Grant, and as he'd been taught to eat only what was in front of him by mum, and not to reach across the table with bad manners, the meringues disappeared. Grant loved his food. As he got older, the biscuits and cake cupboard had to be moved higher. It was not uncommon for a trail of crumbs to be seen when we all went downstairs in the morning for breakfast. Grant loved and played rugby from an early age, and the All Blacks has always been his thing. Grant originally played at Rangiora High School. Grant loved fishing, and there were so many family outings where fishing was such fun. He did a lot of it, and if he landed a big fish, the grin would stretch from ear to ear. Boats were his passion, and in the early days he also owned one. He also sailed with Alan Moffat across the Tasman Strait, and told us later he said it his last prayers one night as they battled to keep the yacht afloat. But Grant was a survivor. Another amazing thing that Grant has achieved has been to be a wonderful kitchen designer. It was his profession for over 20 years. He had made many a family happy in changing an old outdated kitchen into a fancy modern art piece. Around 1990, Robert met Michelle in Melbourne and they had Marlo. A new baby was one of his most proudest moments. He said, I'm a dad. Dylan was born three years later in Brisbane. With two children, Robert was a real family man, gaining wisdom by the day. Being a dad has been big for Robert. The boy was gone and the man was born. He's been an exceptional dad to both Marlo and Dylan. Ups and downs, twists and turns, sharing his love, ensuring the best for his kids. Actively involved in all of their pursuits, Robert was patient, kind, and persistent. Robert was deeply spiritual. He loved Reiki, reading avidly, and lying listening to peaceful music and sharing his soul. He will always be an eternally wise being. Favorite personal sayings was, never give up, just keep going. He was big on loyalty, honesty, and integrity. He always said, don't promise anything if you can't fulfill it. When his mum Betty died four years ago, Robert began to paint more. He had always seen his mum paint and his dad Ray paint as well. The work you see today gives you a small glimpse into the tremendous qualities that Robert Grant has. Creativity, expansiveness, openness, and such appreciation of beauty. Amazing man, amazing times, He'll live forever.